Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. It's time to do some Dynasty Warriors for today, the second place winner of the poll. Again, just in case anyone is curious, uh, we did already stream Warriors OG3 Ultimate, which was the poll winner. I got my days mixed up for the Fortnite update that happened over this weekend. And uh, I accidentally, uh, I got basically just a miscommunication with that. And so I decided I would stream Warriors OG3 last week. And that's why we're streaming at least the second place of the poll winner, which wasn't really intended, but whatever. It's Dynasty Warriors 4, so I won't complain. That's why we're streaming this game today instead. And it's going to be, again, like the normal Warrior streams, normally an hour and a half today. We're not going to do anything too crazy. We're just going to do a couple. I'm going to do just a couple free mode stages and uh, pretty much be done with it. But yeah, hope everyone's doing good. Happy Monday. I know for some of you, not so great because I know it is Monday and you're probably back at work. Your weekend is over. But uh, if you are tuning into this, hopefully you can. Uh, hopefully this stream can help you out a little bit and make it a little bit better. Let me also check something really fast because I messed up on something earlier. Also, while I'm doing this, I will give the individual hellos, and I'm I'll put it on the screen. And I'll put up the gameplay on the screen in just a second. Uh, Kudu, Winter Lynx. Kenny, Yuki Sanada, Akira, Super Mystic Boy, Ayane, Aiden, Nikki, Hayden, Navir, Mr. Din, and he lurks as well. Hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoyed the Wolong review? Hey, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I don't normally do review videos, so that was that was new to me. Not new per se, but oh wait, I don't need this open right now. That's not even we're not on restream at the moment. But, um, yeah, not normally do I do those, but at the, but regardless, I decided to go ahead and just go ahead and try to review it, since, of course, um, Koi Tecmo gave me the code, so I thought it would only be fair that I would, of course, go ahead and do a review of the game, and, uh, great game. Really fun game. Still was kind of shocked by how short it was, but at the same time, it really wasn't that big of a deal. I still enjoyed it, nonetheless. Sorry, I'm just trying to check something really quick. That is not what I wanted to do. Bump, 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 bump. Also, sorry for the lack of energy. I am recovering from what we would say is the uh, daylight savings time. It has been kicking my ass. Too much. Too much. It has been kicking my ass. It has been whooping my butt too many times. Let me see if this works. Actually, did that help this? No, it didn't. Okay. Just wanted to see. Oh, well. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do... You know, we'll start off... We'll probably start off small. We'll just do a little bit of yellow turban stuff, I guess. Actually, I forget. There's more than one yellow turban stage. Let's go ahead and do the fortress. I like the fortress. The fortress is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and play with... I got a feeling Dao uh, Chan, honestly. We'll just go with the regular one. Oh, I just hit my mic. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's been really hitting me. The lack of sleep. I already had a lack of sleep prior to all this, and it was really rough. And I finally started recovering from it, and then all of a sudden, here's the daylight like, savings to kick me in my nuts. It was like, oh, all right, dude. Cool. Thanks. That for the speed. Let's see what's down here. I forgot everything. Attack range, I guess I could try. Um, that feels like it'd be pretty handy to have. How are the base stats? Everything like attack and defense is already maxed out, so I don't need any of that stuff. So maybe charge bracer would be nice. I'll, I'll stay with ice too.
And I'll just work on these. Um, I guess I'll do white. Alright, here we go. I have over 500 hours in Sokoku Posada uh, 3 Utage. I'm assuming that's how you say it. I'm getting the HD collection soon. Hey, nice. I need to play Sengoku Pissar again. Those games were always a great joy to play for me, honestly. I really need to start playing those again. Those games were seriously just a huge joy to play back in the day. I don't even remember the last time I streamed that game, also. Also, we keep an eye on the audio as well, because I need to make sure I'm not getting super, super drowned out. I'm trying to finagle a lot of settings and everything, so... I did notice on the last year when I get too loud, I did start drowning out. So I'm hoping I did end up fixing that. Hopefully, maybe. Probably not, but you know. Streaming is fun. I also noticed it on my video for, I believe, probably Wednesday I'll be uploading that video. I have a, a video for Wednesday since I'm going to be streaming on Tuesday, which is rare since it's my first day back. So hopefully I won't be too dead to stream. And then on Wednesday, we'll be having a video. It won't be Warriors related, but it's still a video that I had a lot of fun with. So, we'll be doing that. And then, of course, Friday will be with Return of That Wheel series that uh, I really love doing. It's it sad that I already forgot what game I played that day. Or that video. I actually did already forget. That's sad. I'll have to go back and check the video. God, Ice is a really goaded element. It's really great. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, let me get rid of these Phantom Souls since they are the bigger pain in the butt than the than the wind. At least with the wind, you just gotta break the fans. JMOS of Bizarre games are only in Japanese. It really is. I really, I really would, like, the Saw games, especially over Warriors games, um, I always had the most fun with. They were always just nonsensical fun. The combat for it was very simplistic, but also really enjoyable at the same time. I really loved, I loved the amount of, like, special attacks you can do in that game. And just have a nice, easy thing of just, like, just, you know, hitting square if you're a PlayStation player and just doing that for easy combos. It's, it was, it was a really enjoy, it's a really enjoyable game. I have, uh... Was it Sumura for Sumuragi? That game is really great. I probably should stream that again though someday. I just honestly never thought about it. I did on? scroll through it on my uh, when I was like trying to think of what to, to do for a video. Uh, but I of course went with something else instead that wasn't Warriors related. But yeah, no, I I really had a lot of fun with with that game when I did streams of it and everything and a couple videos of it. Maybe since I'm doing videos again, I should probably start doing that again. If I don't, if I don't do, end up doing it for like streams, I'll probably do it for videos. Maybe once I finish the wheel series, I'll start doing it. All right, let me get rid of these so the morale doesn't start dropping hor horrendously. Yeah, I guess the difficulty is uneasy. I just went with whatever I had left off. I didn't bother changing the difficulty, which honestly, I don't really give too much of a damn about. Not to mention the characters are pretty much maxed out anyway. So I don't really give a damn about it. I was just looking to be casual today anyway. So I was either going to do normal or easy. Just needed a, a game that can just... <clears throat> let me let loose a little bit and just have some fun with. Alright, there we go. The illusions will vanish now. Charge! Yeah, when you're like the thing about it is like yeah these games can be challenging if you want to make it challenging but honestly these games are also just very good to just like relax and let loose with and uh i was honestly really needing a stream like it where i could just like chill out and let loose with a game with one of these games i've been very very exhausted these past few days or honestly these past few weeks i only got like two nights of good sleep and then daylight saving says hey by the way you're losing an hour i was like oh okay and here we are. I'm even more tired than I was originally. Not great. Not great at all. Alright, we can let Sunjian's men deal with this. I'm going to help out Liu Bei and Cao Cao on the right side, though.
What's up, Shiva? Hope you're doing good. Welcome. What's up, MB as well? Hope you're doing good. Welcome. The amazing Lighty? <laughs> I wish. I wish it was amazing. I'm Lighty, but I'm not amazing. <laughs> Alright, at least I don't feel amazing today because I'm so tired. But aside from that, I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> and a good Kravis snack. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, aside from being tired, I'm doing pretty good. Just excited for uh, for this week. If things work out well, I should be able to have like content all this week. <clears throat> I mean, get more sleep. If I trust me, I wanted to, but my brain was like, "You're up. You just got to deal with it." I was like, "Okay," because normally I wake up at like nine and then I stream at ten o'clock. But this time around, I woke up at like eight in the morning. And I was like, I guess I'm awake because my brain won't let me go back to sleep. So I just stayed awake. Had some stuff to wake me up. <clears throat> Didn't work out too well, as you can clearly see, because I'm still tired. Uh, and I ended up streaming around 9.30 instead. So here we are. What's up, Sai, Matt? Hope you're doing good. Welcome. Oh, Jesus. Hey, where are you going? Come here. Got that extra, extra height. I saw them try to knock me down, but they couldn't. They did not succeed. Right. With ice, that kind of makes that impossible to use. Right. Oop, I forgot I can't move when I do that. This isn't DW5 yet. There we go. See ya! I only can play with DW4 is the amount uh, that the enemy guard. I don't mind that part too much. Like, you'll sometimes see me get like, Stop guarding! But it's like... I mean, it's just the AI trying to live, so I'm fine with it. My complaint with my only complaint or two complaints with the game is that you can't have a free camera. I'm literally hold like wiggling the right stick and I won't move the camera, and uh, locking in like a certain direction when you're in the middle of a combo. So, like if someone moves out of your combo, bad example because he stayed in my combo the whole time. But if someone moves out of this combo, like he moves to the right, I'm still going towards that rock. Basically, those are my only two gripes with this game. They got rid of that in Four Empires. I wish they got rid of it in Four, but oh well. Yeah, those are personally my only two gripes with this game. The AI blocking, I mean, that's just them trying to stay alive, so I'm not really going to complain about them blocking too much. Just got to try to work around it, I guess. But, um, yeah, those are my personal only two gripes with this game. Aside from that, I still love this game to death. I think visually it still looks great. I love the visuals in this game. Um, the story modes I still love a lot. Character designs are really great in this game, too. I have a lot more... I'm more of a fan of the DW4 designs than I am of the DW5 designs, personally. Um, I'm thinking what else. Not a fan of Extreme Legends, though. Extreme Legends is very, very bare. Legend Mode didn't keep me all that entertained. And Extreme Mode is incredibly bare bones between compared to DW5 Extreme Legends. Play the Nama campaign, the hell on earth. Wait for Pathfinder, uh, Divinity, R Divinity RPG that is mostly on the Romance of Third Kingdom source in Goku period. Oh, that sounds cool. I haven't heard much about that, but that does sound cool. Yeah, I don't know who thought the lock on thing was a really great idea. Because I can't, like, turn and beat up this guy. I was trying to turn and beat up that guy, but it did not let me do that because I was already hitting this dude. It's, uh, it's a weird thing that they decided to put in, but, you know. Old game. But if they ever do remaster it, I hope they just use Summer Warriors, or Summer Warriors, uh, Dynasty Warriors 4 Empires is a way of doing it since Dynasty Warriors 4 Empires had the, uh, they got rid of the lock-on. Good voice, dude. Here they come! Bow! Bow to the miracles of the way of peace! Oh, 
There is a way to stop these winds. Keep advancing. Remember when I had a horse? Me too. I don't know why I didn't bring it with me. Start a new Pathfinder character, which is a sorcerer. I can't get hit, or uh, I'll take two hits and die. Jesus Christ. What's up, Grim? Hope you're doing good. Welcome. If they remastered DB4, I would cry of joy. Oh, no, same. Trust me. If they remastered three th at least three through five, I'd be very, very happy with it. I can understand if they didn't want to do two, because two is just incredibly, incredibly bare bones. And there's, like, aside from pretty good stage designs, there's nothing really else about the game that I care about. Hey, you can go up high on this thing. In the end, it's all cheap trickery. Yeah, it's just them just blowing. Gotta say, though, the, the wind power on these fans is pretty impressive, though. Enough to blow people back like that. Not to mention, they're barely even, like, spinning that quickly. Should cease now. Yeah. Easy. In the end, it is all cheap there you go. I thought it was uh, Zhu Zhang that said that, not Sao Tso, but oh well. I was wrong. Get up. You fool. Ow. With that pack... Why did I just... I lisped so hard there. With that tech, they could have uh, helped the people in other ways instead of just well, time to sp time to spread uh, peace through violence. Sometimes for humans, all they can think about is war, the conflict. That's sometimes all humans think about. Sad reality. Got my bodyguards are at least living through this. Did they get do the bodyguards get more XP the harder the difficulty? I don't know. He's blowing all the soldiers. Did that mean to sound naughtier than it uh probably made me think it was? Uh, I have played 1 and 2, but very, very briefly. Like, probably one stage of it. Because I remember seeing... I remember playing one, like... Like, again, like, one thing of it, I think. Like, one battle of it. Because that one wasn't even, like, battles. It was mostly you just, like, doing, like, boss fights for the most part, right? Because it was in a very tight end area. It was, like, a little square area. It looked cool, though. But... Unless I'm thinking of the wrong game. I think it's that game, though. You know, when the archers are spread around like that, it's a real pain in the butt. I've I've had moments where I couldn't move for like a solid like five seconds because I just kept getting riddled with arrows from different directions. Like, well, I can't block that way or that way. I guess I'll just hold this cell real quick. All right, so we only have one more base captain, I think. Yeah, it's down at the bottom. Left. Oh, I never got the one on the right. Oh, they'll handle that one. But I need to get the one over on the on the left side, bottom left, and then we're done. Get up, fool. GG's. I am kind of glad, though, like... This charge attack turned into, like, an AoE now for a lot of people. I care, but I think that that's way better than what they had originally. Or never change the technology uh, used does, but the intentions remain the same. It's honestly pretty true. Ah, oh, my neck popped. Pop. My neck popped. I can't, wow, I really can't speak today. My brain is... I need to stop doing that move. At least with the ice. Yeah, I'm glad they changed that into... That's someone retracting their stuff for some reason. I don't know why. That's them retracting their own thing. When it says retracted, it'll let you know if, like, 
a mod deletes something, but if it just is retracted, that means it's someone else deleting their own comment. It's missed, idiot. So the gate's open, right? I think after uh, after this, I won't do a, I won't do a poll for the next Warriors game. I mentioned in my videos that I would probably do like Warriors, like one of the old Warriors Odochi games. I'll probably do two. Uh, there's still some stuff I need to do on the 360 version of that game, so I might do a little bit of just like mindless playing around in that game and just like maybe try to get treasures in that game and uh, level up some people and everything. I might even look at a guide too to see. Um, like what I need to like do to unlock certain dream mode stages because I still need to do that. What do you think of DDB9 when it first released? I thought it was hot garbage. Hot garbage. Performance issues. I don't even I like I don't even care that they had like people had like similar weapons in the open like the open world is pretty bare. Yes, but honestly for me it was more so like I had issues with it because it was. Very long loading times, bad performance issues, game would crash every once in a while, game would soft lock me to where I couldn't progress in the game. That was my personal issues with the game. The game was hot garbage on release. It did get better though as the game went, as the update started going. What's up, Blood Boy? Hope you're doing good. Welcome. Oh, yeah, speaking of Jang Jia, by the way, I don't know if anyone saw. I meant to actually put that in the review for at least one, a joke or just like an actual gripe on the game. Um, for my for the Wolong review, um, for some reason Guo Jia is named Zheng Jiao in that game. I thought it was like, am I missing something here? Did he go by some like weird like Zheng Jiao alias since he like died and maybe he's like, I don't know, maybe trying to do something to like make it so where people are not bothering him or something. I like, but like I think it was just some weird little. Th I don't know why it was just. I guess it was some weird thing. I don't know why they ended up calling uh, Guo Jia Zheng Jia because there were, there were when you look at the character directory, I think. No, I think it was, I don't know if it was the character directory or when you actually pick your reinforcement. Uh, for some reason, he was called Zheng Jiao. Or, and then like one of the other ones, it was, um, it was they called him Guo, uh, Guo Jia. Every other time that like someone talked about him, like through dialogue, he was called Guo Jia. But through like text in his own name, um, it was weird. They called they called him Zheng Jiao, and that was a, a really copy off guard. Because I was like, did they mean to do that? Why is he called Zheng Jiao? Did I miss something in terms of like lore behind him? It was really weird. Really weird. I don't know why they ended up doing that. I'm hoping Team Ninja can like fix that. I'm most likely they won't. But uh, yeah, no, that was that was very strange to see that. Bum 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 I think someone did mention they want to see the Namon campaign. Yeah, I don't think nine looked horrible but it definitely had its graphical issues a lot you can see a lot of things glitching out flickering and everything it was like oh please stop that uh what do i want to play as what do you have for your other outfits oh you got a cool helmet nice i do kind of dig this helmet it looks pretty rad we'll play as him hardest mission ever great Great. Isn't the Vorpal Sword basically your slay thing? Where you can like potentially kill somebody with one shot, if I'm not mistaken. Does this also help him for his charge attack? I 
That makes me curious if that's the case. I'm gonna do put that on too. Elephants are the worst. Yeah, they kind of are. I remember not having a joyous time with them. Drunk Benet, hello. Hope you're doing good. Welcome to the stream. His bow charge attack does get benefits from that. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, shoot. We got an extra bodyguard. Let's go. They're still level one, though. Yikes. What's up, Ozzy? Hope you're also doing good. Worse is keeping the commander safe. You know what? We'll do with whatever this person did. Apparently, they made a... <laughs> A um, Final Fantasy, like men's Final Fantasy team, so we'll just do this. Oh yeah, I also love how like no one's ever seen an elephant before. They just they just called elephants a monster. I remember at DDB3, they're like, what? What are these monsters? In this battle, we shall attack the spirits of the enemy. Subjugating them by force would have no meaning. <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty cool charge attack. I'm already getting jumped. Got him. Got him, GG's. What are the wait, what are the items that I have? Oh, tiger and tortoise amulet. I don't think I need that. Oh, you are hope you're doing good. Welcome. I keep breaking down your name more and more. You are now Yira to me. Came to uwu at me today. I appreciate that. My day has already been uh, improved thanks to that. And that's not actually being sarcastic. It's actually being 100% factual. <laughs> yeah, no, DDB5 C1 for the bow users is way better. Like, this one at least, like, locks on to the enemies. But, uh, its damage is pretty eh. I did forget he also uses the bow in the seat too, though. That's pretty handy. Where's he going? Oh, I guess he was, uh... Yeah, I guess he wasn't anybody important. Okay. I guess he was working under somebody. Yeah, this is when the peons were super aggressive, yeah. Also, I dropped that horribly. Oh, shoot. Is he here? Oh, yeah. There he is. Whoops. Oh, my God. Sit still, please. I forgot when somebody has a um, like a move where they charge forward or like something where they shoot out a projectile of some sort. Thanks, Titus, you you bitch. My favorite Final Fantasy is coming to bite me in the butt. The box saved you. I want you to know that. Got him. Ooh, he dropped health. Honestly, if I didn't have these bodyguards, it'd probably go a lot worse. Wasn't he? He, he probably covered his health or something by charging his Muso. Stop blocking me. I like how I brought up earlier that I didn't mind them blocking, and now, like, they're blocking very heavily. Hello? Where'd he go? Oh, he's behind me now. That charge attack is very annoying. No! It made me target to the freaking peon. Oh, God. The lock-on to this game is so bad. I don't know how it made me target somebody else when I was already comboing him, but that's fine. Ooh, there's meat buns over there. Might as well not let them go to waste. Funk. I've gotten 12 kills so far. I'm surprised with all the max out stats we're not doing more damage, but oh well. Okay, he just his attack. I thought he was recovering his health again. Yeah, nice try, fool. No, I couldn't I couldn't capitalize on it. My bodyguards being here is a, is just amazing right now. Oh, you can't even turn when doing that. Wow, that's rough. I'm remembering like 
everything about this game. <laughs> there we go. It only took like, you know, 40 minutes, but we got there eventually. Oh, damn, I lost the bodyguard out of that? Oh, yeah, they're all dying. Holy crap. I gotta get some health for them. Yeah, I did at one point try to jump over them, but I just... I, I suck. I'm just bad at the game, clearly. Okay, I thought that was one singular meeple, and I was gonna probably cry a little bit inside. Damn, they are tanky in this state. Never mind, they're not tanky. <laughs> Just one KO'd, one hit KO'd that dude. Shout out to the Vorpal Orb. Very goaded. Alright, we still gotta help the people on the right side though before we go into the, like, I think the left side's gonna have, like spawn the elephant people, so I gotta be careful. A warrior. The warrior's dead. Fine. Alright, so we only lost one bodyguard out of that altercation, so that wasn't terrible. They are so aggressive, my bodyguards, though. Holy crap. I do love this bodyguard system. It just feels so wild that sometimes it feels like it takes forever for them to level up. But it is nice that this person, whoever had this safe fault, gave you at least two things worth of bodyguards that are maxed out. Probably more than that, but I did replace one of them with my own characters, but I need to level that up myself. The universe in Eaton, uh, knew I needed to come in. I saw Dia Chan in my favorite outfit of, of hers, and and you're playing a no call moveset. Oh, you used the bow for it? Yeah, it is a really good moveset. I, I do like uh, Huang Zhang's moveset. Oh, one shot of that, dude. I probably could have worked on the gate, Captain. What's up, Samurai Guy? Hope you're doing good. Welcome. Oh, that probably also might be why, too, because their morale is being way higher than mine. Thoughts on Wolong Fallen Dynasty? Uh, a really good game. Honestly, I... I I gave a review on the game uh, on my channel, but yeah, I like the game for the most part. Story's not too long, honestly, which is not really a bad thing. Uh, that gives a lot of room for new uh, for newer games or DLC or something, which I think they said they were going to do DLC for, if I'm not mistaken. I know they did DLC for Neo, so I imagine they would do the same for Wolong. Also, they tend to give more love to the Three Kingdoms games than they do the Japanese, like the Sengoku period games, for some reason. You're in too deep. Control yourself. Hi, Asahi. Hope you're doing good. Oh, there's two of you over here. Yikes. Oh, no, it's you. Oh. You wanna fight me? Are you stupid? Yes, I am stupid. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to die. Yeah, I forgot how rough this uh, stage was. That did a lot of damage. I'm ready for the... Panic move, so. Oh, he does fire on me, too. Yikes. Alright. I gotta not use his uh, C2 right now. His C2 is really bad. Hello? Where are you? He keeps zipping around. I can't find him. Oh, I need freaking... Honestly, if he kills me, I'm not really gonna be upset. No, you were so close. That missed? That was weird. Okay, he didn't really do anything after that. Maybe he maybe he saw the bullshit in that and he was just like, yeah, just just go ahead and kill me. You deserve it. Yeah, but I'm assuming the reason why we're doing so, like, I didn't realize that morale starts dropping more and more as you play through the stage. That was very close. Oh, what's up, Thurns? Hope you're doing good. Uh, oh my god! The morale is so high. Holy crap. Yibbity, yibbity. Oh, can you not block that? I'm not... That's not a... That's not me complaining. I'm just... I'm kind of happy if that's the case. Oh, wait. Do the... 
Oh, the freaking things come back. No wonder they can they can go out to your main camp. I did not know that. Let me get on the horse that can't knock me off it. It's the goaded horse that doesn't allow you to get knocked off. But um but yeah, no. Um sorry, I didn't I know I didn't give too much on Wolong, but um I've just talked about it so much and I we already talked about it a little bit earlier. But um Yeah, no, I think it's uh I think it's a really fun game. And uh there's still a demo going on for it too. I don't think the demo's gonna last much longer. I think it ends at the end of this month. I think like twenty third, twenty seventh, it was one of the days. So uh if you ever feel like you wanna try it out, go for it. I personally say give it a shot. It's also on Game Pass, so you can get the game for free. If you have Game Pass, at least. Alright. Uh, there's still another dude to the right. Yeah, I'm just trying not to go all over the place. Do they, does anybody spawn at the, like, the very top? Jayden, can you stop struggling? I'm like right next to you, dude. I mean, yeah, the commanders in these games normally only watch, only just watch the battles. They don't take part in it, which isn't really a bad thing because that means you don't have to babysit the bodyguard, or not the bodyguard, the the commander every single second. I'm fine with the uh, the commander staying up there. That's, that that was like a standard thing for pretty much every single Warriors game. There we go. That's another dude gone. I can tell he also had the strategist voice. It's also weird how this morale system works. It feels like it doesn't go up even after you kill the enemy troops or enemy officers. It feels like it just stays stationary in this game, which is really weird. We're playing uh, Warriors Odyssey 1, and damn, forgot how hard these old games are. Yeah, that's, uh, I think... Oh, I think it was that game I'm playing for, I did for Friday. I had to do that and pick, like, three fathers, I think. Which, I try to pick characters that, like... Their sons, their sons or daughters were visibly in the game as playable characters, so if they weren't, I didn't pick them. So, I... Who did I go with? I don't even remember. I know in terms of, like, fathers, which I think was actually the only... I don't think you... I don't think there was a mother you could play as in that game yet. I'm trying to think. So, like, when I, and again, they had to be like, Chalion, stop struggling. I'm literally right here. Oh, is it? Did he show, can he show back over here? He sure did. How's it going, man? Hey, you want to duel again? No? All right. I'll just stay on the horse. Yeah, cheese it. I'm actually doing, like, no damage on the horse. I'm kind of just waiting for my bodyguard to show up. Doesn't your own spawn it? Uh,. On that one other side? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, it's the Dong Tuna. I think it's best to focus on Vanquo's troops uh, when, he, when he spawns so you can lower his morale. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's a fair strategy. He's got five stars. Oh, yeah, this game's great. Oh, wow, I am dying. I hate that charge attack so much. Oh, my bodyguards are not looking great either, actually. Yeah, we're probably gonna... I'm probably actually will die in this fight. What are you talking about? I'm still, in, I'm still over here. That just goes to show how rough this stage is, I guess. Like, they're already saying, like, hey, you're in too deep. I'm like, I am? I didn't think I was that far at all. Yeah, if I die, it's okay. I'm not really gonna get mad over it. I'm remembering just how rough this stage actually is. Not Vincent! You're right, it's seven stars, not five stars. I can't count. I'm stupid. Don't mind me. I wonder why they made this stage so difficult. Yeah, it, it, and then they just keep saying it's affecting the... Wow, yeah, they really made this stage, like, really rough. Nah, I'm not a bitch. If I die, I die. Wong Zhong always said he wanted to die on the battlefield, so you know what? I'll give him what he wants. I'm not a bitch. I'll keep fighting till the end. Did he just recover his health? Oh, he just like, increased his attack. Okay. Not gonna die to Mang Huo, at least. Yeah, beat him. How many times? 
two, three, four times already? Whooped his ass. I think it's been three. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that was rough. Wow. That was very rough. Wonder why, yeah, I wonder why that stage for it particularly is so difficult. Yeah, we just die like men. I will probably need some rips in the chat, though. That was really rough. <laughs> that, that, that was really rough. Holy shit. Alright, that's fine. Ooh, let's do a Unification to Jing, I think it is. Yeah, I love this stage. Yeah, I wonder why they made that stage so difficult. I don't get that. I don't get why they did that. That's a really weird decision. Time for a Chiao. I can play as a Chiao sister. Which one should I play as? Da Chiao or Xiao Chiao? Let me know. You know what? Here, we'll do a short little fun poll just for the hell of it. That's a QA. I'm stupid. Don't mind me. No, don't start the QA. <laughs> I meant start a poll. Here we go. You have to play that stage in a specific way, uh, just so you win easily? Really? God, is it that bad? Wow, I did not know that. All right, I'll give that a couple seconds. Go ahead and pick your character. They pretty much play damn near identical, so it doesn't really hurt me either way. Not hurt my feelings either way. Also, since we're taking this little break, if, if you guys are enjoying these old Warriors games that I'm playing on stream, hit that like button. Let's know if you want to see more of these in the future. Alright, we'll give it a couple more seconds and then I'll wrap up. How long have we been going? Oh, only 45 minutes. Okay, we, still, we can probably still do a couple more stages. Alright. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, we're wrapping up. I almost hit the wrong thing. <laughs> I went to go end the poll. I almost hit end stream. Alright, who won? Dot Shao with 52% of the poll of the votes. Alright. Watch how it is. Oh, I didn't check her outfit. Hang on, I gotta go back. Oh, she was using the first one. Let me see her outfit, though. I actually don't remember what she had. I love this design, though, first. It's really good. Yeah, okay, I was not digging whatever was on the second portion of that. The alternate outfits. She has nothing equipped. Okay. Wow. Now let's give the... What was it? Storm? I think it was Storm. Was it Storm Harness or Shadow Harness? I think it was Shadow, actually. Whoops. Idiot. Put Fire on her, of course. I mean, I know the charge attacks are different, but their normal attacks are damn near identical. That's all I meant by it. Increase that speed. Arrows. Let me see how it is with uh, the Herbal Remedy being maxed out. Well, look, worst case scenario, or not worst case scenario, but uh, best case scenario, I uh, just do both sisters. That didn't sound right. I'll play as both sisters if we do another Wu stage. Or maybe we'll go back to do the old turban stage after this. We still have the menace one to do, so we can do that one. Yeah, bad phrasing. My bad. No <laughs> bad phrasing. Okay, this was the horse I was referring to. Okay. Let's go, Pop. We'll take them all on. Let us go forth. No, I will not do them. No. It's not what I meant. Stop. Don't quote me. Stop it. Shameful. Shameful behavior. Let's go for this guy since he's closest. Oh, so this is what it's like to kill people again, huh? Alright. At first, I thought that just said Lieutenant General. I was like, damn, these guys don't even have, like, notable characters or notable names up with them. 
Burn, baby. Her voice is so deep when she strikes. Holy crap. Really good design, though. I really like her four design. I think nine is still my favorite design of her, though. Nine made her. Can you get off the horse? Keep pushing me. Get, get out of here with the horse. Oh, something's coming up from behind. Oh, is Lugong the one who shot Sun Jian in the eight? Is he the reason that Sun Jian died? What's up, Dread Wolf? Hope you're doing good. Welcome. Also, I think if you wait long enough in this stage, you'll get, like, I think Sun Shang Shang will pop up. And you'll be able to do, like, um, dual musos with her for some reason. To get some, like, weird circle around her or something. I can't remember specifically what it looked like, but she had, like, some, like, weird, like, type of thing going on with her. So this was totally a what-if battle, right? Since technically they didn't really care to uh, be super accurate with this game in terms of its story. Not that that's a bad thing. Yeah, no, the the but yeah, in this stage, like all the soldiers in this that run around you and uh, the bodyguards, or I'm sorry, and the officers themselves will just be bodyguards to you. They don't spread out and do their own thing. They just follow you specifically. And once you take out one of the officers here, which, is, which in this case will be Liu Biao, we will be, um, or well, the other enemies, I mean, will start popping no in. I think he's the toughest one, though, Liu Biao, if I'm not mistaken. Move, please. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think Liu Biao is probably the worst one out of them. I think they all have, like, the commander buff, but I think Liu Biao is the worst one. And then uh, I think the other ones that are popping over here will be Liu Yang, Yun Bai Hu, and Wang Long. So they have the Wu Territory stage, it's I think, still, but here. then they have this one, which is Unification of Jing, which is taking out every single one of them, including Liu Biao. Liu Biao is the one that's added into this for some reason. Finished workout after increasing the weight of my resistance band. Hey, nice. Why do you just disturb Jing? I don't know. I don't know. Wu has a really big boner for Jing Province. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't make the rules here. Yeah, everyone's gonna start rushing now, yeah. That's pretty much... That's pretty much what happened. It's a very short stage because of that. I mean, the map itself isn't even that big either, to be honest, but even still, the reason why it's so short is because everyone just starts rushing you. I could have sworn you could probably duel one of them too, unless I'm thinking of uh, the shoe version of this stage. I probably am. When you try to take Jing Province for shoe. I think that probably is what it is. Yeah, now all of them are just going to start coming over here and just rushing. Who's over here still? Who's this? Oh, my husband. No, it doesn't matter. If you go, if you even go, like, if you get close to uh, any of them, they'll all just start rushing you. It doesn't matter which one it is. I've experimented that before. I was like, oh, God, I don't want that happening to me. Because at first, it, it seemed intimidating. But if, even if you target, like, the people at the very far end, they'll do the same thing. It doesn't matter. They'll all start rushing you eventually. That's why the stage is so short. Stop blocking me. Stop blocking me. All right, I don't have the charge bracer on, do I? That's going to be a little rough, then. Are you going to duel? Does anyone have thoughts about it? Like... Like, the dual system in this game? He is tanky. Good lord. Uh, the duels in this game are pretty cool. I think they were a really cool addition to the game. It was a shame they got rid of it in 5, though. But then they brought it back in 6, but I like the way they did it in 6 more than 4. I do like the arena that they did for four, but the way that everyone just circles around you um, in six is just, in my opinion, way more cooler. And then you just fight them when they're all buffed up and everything. And then, like, once you take out one officer, you can fight the you can fight some other ones too. 
Why is he less tanky than his own man? No, they killed Light. Yeah, like I said, they are nowhere near. Why, why was Jeng, Zhang Ying more buffered than Liu Yang? Hello? Fate can be cruel. Okay, now, one, now the one on the far right is starting to rush. Yeah, I prefer the way they did it in uh, DW6. DW6's duels are cooler. They did a lot of cool things with DW6. I just... For me, it's just a shame that they decided to put the Renbu system in. If they didn't have that thing in, I think that game would have been really great. I mean, there's a couple other things. Like, again, like there's only like a handful of people that have story modes for some weird reason. There is a lot of cloned moves in that game as well, so it's like... Eh. The Musos I don't mind too much, but they are pretty boring as well. The, the Musos are literally just doing the exact same... Like, just doing your normal attack moveset, which was kind of whack. Oh, do the certain classes, like... <clears throat> are, are they affected by, like, what class they are? In terms of their defense and attack? If that's the case, I never knew that. You know, I'll wait for him to come to me. We'll fight over here. Okay, so it's not all of them rushing you at the same time. Oh, God, he's got his horse back. So it's not all of them rushing you at the same time, but it is, uh, like, one at a, one at a time. Oh, yeah, I forgot also. I forgot the taunts. It's cute. Ow. No, because this guy is even more tankier than Liu Young was. I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it's just... I don't know. I think they just made some weird choices with who to make more tanky for some reason. This guy isn't even a commander. He's blue, so that means this is Wong Wong's dude. Yeah, Lu Bu's son is... Why even try? While doing his, uh, his Dynasty Warriors 3 C1. Which is really dope. I was like, oh, the callback! Come on, bro. You're already almost dead. Just accept your fate. There we go. Oh, all of them are over here now. Young Baihu is here, too. And you. He just spawned right there. Okay, cool. Oh, God. There's archers now, too. Amazing. I'll just stick with all of them. Let them come to me. Ow. Someone uh, ever beat Lu Bu in a duel? Uh, me only on easy. I beat him on normal. I will not. I will not try to say I ever beat him on hard in a duel. That that was not possible for me. But uh, I did beat him at least on normal. Yeah. It was a lot of running around and a lot of retries, but I eventually did it. Yeah. Oh, brother, archers. Oh, God. Just gonna move away from them. There's so many archers here. I love how there's archers just pointing at one another. They're like, I'm gonna kill you first. God, even the elite guards are tanky. Good lord. Alright, where's that dude? Where's he in you at? Is he still over there in this mob? He sure is. Okay. Okay, just wanted to at least kill him before I go back over here. Whee! Okay, I think all that's left are the commanders. I think they only had, like, one officer working underneath them. No, I think your English is fine. Don't worry about it. But it is always cool seeing people from different countries. Oh my god. Alright, let's see how bad he... Oh, I did just get an attack up, so this probably will be a little bit better. Okay, yeah, his health's melting because of this. I was about to be like, yeah, no, this is super easy. But then I did remember I have, like, an attack times two. 
God, those elite guards are beating the shit out of me. Is this truly the end? Alright, we just need one more dude and then we're done. Yeah, I don't know how long I would have to wait uh, for Sunshine Shane to pop up. Oh yeah, there were grabs in this game too. There we go. At least, at least my body, at least my living bodyguards are still uh, getting some health. Who just shot me? Oh, you. Okay. All right. I'm getting shot from different directions, actually. God, archers are so annoying in this game. Did I even put on Muso armor? Because it feels like I'm not taking any damage. I did. Or not on armor. Excuse me. Thank God. Yeah, Lubu's is by far the worst one. Not to mention his just does multiple attacks on you. Most people just pick you up and gra like, grab you and then throw you away. Like, that's nowhere near as bad. Lubu's like, does multiple hits on you. Looks like. I think the only other one... I think Fei has two grabs, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, he has one where he does multiple hits, too. But I don't think it's anywhere as bad as Lubu's. Let me see how bad his uh, defense is. Yeah, the commanders' health is horrible. I think it's just the commanders. Yun Baihu melted. Liu Yang melted. The only commander that didn't melt was Liu Biao. Wow, that was really easy. Okay. Is this truly the end? I love the Jian Ye stage as well with Sun Jian copies. That was really trippy to me as a kid for some reason. I don't know if anyone else ever felt that way. But as a kid, that felt very trippy seeing that. I always wonder why they switch style of Major and Sergeant Troops between DDB3 and DDB4. I prefer DDB3's order of things. I was kind of that same way as well. I like had, I liked that the armor guys were like the more like bodyguard looking like guys instead of like these guys that were... Uh, I guess they looked pretty veteran-ish. So I guess they decided to let those Sergeant-like characters become Majors and like Elite Guards while they're running like those armored up guys like the bodyguards and everything. It was, it's really weird. I don't know. Yeah, also, the Jian Ye stage is really good because it has probably the be some of the best music in the game. I mean, DDB4's soundtrack in general is just great. It's very goaded. Damn, still at rank 1, huh? I wonder what lets them level up more. Yeah, let's do the Ill Turban Menace stage. We'll do that with uh, Xiao Chao. Oh, we get both Chao sisters. Uh, I just gotta figure out where it is. I think it's yeah, Zhu Province. Yeah, Yellow Turban Menace. I think the OST was called Festival of Evil. Yes, yes. What the hell's the difference here? Whatever. Moving on. Ooh, lightning. That could be both good and annoying. I'll do blast. I've never done blast. Right, we can get rid of these two because we already maxed out on everything there. This is... This looks like everything I already had on uh, What's-Her-Face. I'll get rid of the speed scroll, though. I think we'll be okay without it. We'll do the charge braces. I feel like that's way more useful. It probably was already going to give me red, but just in case. Got to keep an eye out when the... Um, this might also potentially be the last battle, if we hit near an hour and a half. But uh, what I was trying to say was... Um, what was I trying to say? <laughs> An ADHD brain. Forces will engage the enemy at the east gate. They shall learn the might of our own. We will attempt to open the south gate. That feel when the lighting orb steals your kill. I mean, you still get credit for it, right? <clears throat> Good job, you did it. 
fighting orb isn't that great for grinding. Oh yeah, because it drops your combos, right? Yeah, because you need with XP, you, it just depends on your uh, your comboage. Yeah, I forgot about that. More than just defeating the officers, it's uh, what does her thing do? Oh, she does a little twirl. Okay, it's a ground slam. She must have an ass of steel, I guess, because she just made rocks come out of the ground with that. All right. Jesus. Yeah, as a kid, uh, when it came, when they made the rainstorm, and as a kid in this game, I didn't realize that they also said ambush inside of it. So I thought the storm itself was killing. Uh, who is this? Wang Fu Song? Yeah, it's Wang Fu Song. Okay. I really thought it was. Um, I thought it was the storm killing Wang Fu Song and not like enemies. I was like, so I feel like I went in there at one point and like everyone was pretty much just like no one was bothering him. At first, but then I went it went it and saw, and uh, when I got older, I was like, "Oh, it was people that came in through the mist." Impressive. I thought he was just dying because like the rain was killing him. I guess, like it was what was his like armor rusting or something. Like what was happening to him? Speed boost. Oh, this music's so good. God, I will never get tired of DDB4 soundtrack. Crush them in one blow. Lightning in this and DDB3 will score kills, and they don't uh, count towards your KO count. What the? F what? That's so stupid. Well, it's a good thing I got rid of it then. The bedster, hope you're doing good. Welcome. Still, dude, up here. Let me get rid of him. You're not getting away from me. You're not getting away from me. Does she do more than one? Hold on a minute. Oh yeah, she does. Okay. Maybe I need to actually keep connecting with somebody to do that. Yeah, see, it's really weird. I feel like they're really weirdly selective on, like, who gets, like, defense buffs. Because the officer felt like he died really quickly. But, like, these soldiers are are way more, like, buffed out in their defense. I feel like I managed to finish off that other dude in, like, one combo. These guys took, like, like two combos to finish off. I feel like they're very inconsistent with all their, uh, with, like, who gets what buff. Yeah, so like I really thought the storm was what was killing the dude at the at Huang Fu Song at the time. I don't know why. There's the line. He said it. What of it? I'm wasting time. Hope you're doing good. Welcome. Okay, let me head over there and help them out. Yeah, so I don't really get, like, why some of them are so buffy and the other ones aren't. Got him. Bum, bum, ba -da bum, bum, bum. Oh, the soundtrack's so good! I love how when you do an attack as well, like, they just sits completely still. 
There we go. Now they got movement on them. It's really weird. It's like... I know they got rid of that in 4, so I don't know... Or in 5, I mean. I wonder if that was like an intentional thing. I wonder what the Blast Orb does. Do you think we'll get a DW10 this year? Uh, if we somehow magically do, it'll probably be at the very end of the year or beginning of next year. Depends on when they announce it, though. If they announce it. I'm sure, like, we know it'll come eventually. We know that much. I'm kind of whatever on uh, seeing another warrior, another Dynasty Warriors game at the moment, though. The way they've handled the most recent of like the main titles of DW, SW, and WO, I'm kind of just whatever if they even make another game at the point at this point. If they make one, cool, but I won't really care at the moment. I'll have to do, like, a whole lot of, like, showing off and showcasing stuff before they get me, like, really caring that much about it. Oh, Machao is by far the best one with the horse. There was another person. I think it is. It, no, it, does Jotai also shoot hit from one side? I can't remember. I think Jotai also hits from one direction as well, just like Machao does. The DB10 stay open world? Absolutely not. They tried it, and uh, they should not do it again. They have the capabilities to make, like, bigger maps for the battlefields, which I wouldn't mind that part, but... Uh, open worlds? No. God, no. Not again. You know, they should they should definitely not bring back open world to these games. Yeah, they said they they said the only time that they would I think they said in the interview, uh, the only time they would do it um would be for like a spin-off game or something, but like a nine two, which I pray to god that never fucking happens. It was a very ambitious idea, and I'll give him credit for trying, but it was very, uh, I won't give him credit for their, uh, their attempt at it, though, because it was not good. Or I won't give him credit for the end result of it, because it was really bad. The exploration of, like, landmarks was pretty cool, but after that, it's just like, okay, well, now it's just, you're just gonna use fast travel whenever you want now. Like, there's no point. The world was very, very empty. Again, the landmark part was cool where you got to discover a couple things. Like, that part was cool, but after you did the exploration, it was like, okay, well, that's it. I'm done. Yeah, great idea, terrible execution, yeah. I already mentioned it. If they want to do something cool, which I doubt they'll ever do, keep, if they want to use that map again, and they, like I said, they want to use it for a side project, do it to where there's like a new version of like Dynasty Warriors Online with that map. Use, like, Dynasty Warriors 8's combat style or something like that. Um, and do, like, some... And let your characters, like, do some kind of, like, free roam thing. Kind of like how, like, Red Dead Redemption is. Granted, I don't know how many people would actually play that game, but... You never know. I mean, for the most part, I think the game looked okay. It just had its... I mean, it had graphical problems with it, but... There's a lot of... Like I said, there's a lot of, like... Glitch textures, some like not well loaded in stuff too. Uh, a lot of the stuff you could tell was just like half-assed. But uh, like when you look at it from a distance, it didn't look that terrible. But you yeah, know they 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 should not do that again. Oh god, he's struggling. Can I at least get this guy, please. Well, I managed to hit him all with all the shots. Nice. Alright, let me go help out Huang Fu Bitch over here. We must all follow your example. Impressive. Oh, 
But like I said, um, I personally don't care to see Dynasty Warriors 10 right now. If they do it, okay. I need to see some stuff about it first before I even like get really all that hyped for it. Like, I'll be, like, hype in the moment. I'm like, oh, shoot, we got another Warriors game. Cool. But, like, at the same time, I'll be like, okay, hype's over. I need to see, like, what's actually going to happen with this game now. Like, the hype will be very short-lived, especially if it's going to be just, like, how they handled these more recent Warriors games. One of the Hyrule Warriors. I still need to finish Age of Calamity. It was really fun, though. But uh, I also do probably prefer the way they did it in the first Hyrule Warriors game. But uh, that Age of Calamity is still pretty cool. But I would like it if they went to the format that they did. I do like, I do like that they decided to go with the Bre like Breath of the Wild format. With a lot of the combat and everything. But I still prefer how they did it with the uh, first game. First Hyrule Warriors is still probably in my top five for me. It's a really great game. I had a blast with that game. All right, I still need to help out Liu Bei, though. The Trankus, hope you're doing good. Welcome. Bow, bow. I mean, they had a lot of other characters for the Hyrule Warriors games. It wasn't just Link and Zelda. I don't think they can do another Hyrule Warriors, though, unless they uh, uh, like bring in a bunch of new characters for like the Breath of the Wild story. Because um, unless they're adding in a lot more new characters in the next Breath of the Wild game, which I forget what it's called. But um, I think they should just try to do it with another different story to it. Yeah, they did mention they wanted to do a Star Wars Musou game, which I would be 100% down for. Oh no, maybe look at somebody else. I put so much hype into 9, but was so let down that I don't know if uh, I'll even be excited for GW10. I mean, I'm one of those channels that did hype up 9 a lot. I also hyped up Warriors Odachi a lot, or Warriors Odachi 4 a lot. Honestly, I think I hyped up all the more recent games. Thankfully, my channel didn't, like, fucking tank because of it, though. After the games were really bad. There were Star Wars, there, there's been Star Wars games before the PS2 era. They had the Phantom Menace on PS1 and games even before that. I think one was called Dark Forces. I can't, can't remember. It was like a first-person shooter. It felt very uh, Doom-esque. Like original Doom. Pretty cool, though. I might go back and play those games one day. I kind of wanted to play like a very old Star Wars game that wasn't just Battlefield. Or Battlefront, excuse me. I might actually do that someday soon. This looks like this might be the last battle that we do for the day. I had fun with Warriors Odyssey 4, but can't compare it to D uh, Warriors Odyssey 3. Yeah, no, same. I, uh, well, I didn't have fun with Warriors Odyssey 4, but uh, I am glad to know that somebody did. But, um, you know, Warriors Odyssey 3 is still by far, in my personal opinion, the best Warriors game out there. By far. Oh, the story for that game was... Fantastic for three. I'm still not super crazy about ultimates, but uh, it's still really good. Let's try and play Path of the Titans. I think I've heard that game mentioned to me at least more than once, but I don't remember what it was. Why? What kind of game is it? I think a Final Fantasy game as a Warriors game would be pretty cool. Didn't Koei Tecmo make a Final Fantasy, like, fighter? Or am I thinking of a different company? I don't remember what it was, though. Sephiroth will properly be Lubu of that game. I'd still have 7 Remake, and I'd get to play it.
Boom, ba -da -ba -da -boom. Okay. Alright, let's clear out these enemies over here and then we'll head over to the top. Checks out unique theme music and large weapon. Yeah. Now, oh, Sephiroth was always a, a badass. Die. Oh, my horse is all the way at the bottom. God damn it. Damn, Lube took off after I did all the work for him. Actually, all of them took off. Good lord. Now, let me grab my horse and head up to the main camp. He might retreat before I even get there, honestly. Which would be kind of lackluster, but at the same time, kind of funny. It's survival with 100 players on, and you make your own dino and grow to be an adult. Oh, okay, that sounds pretty interesting. Bow, bow. Bop into the music now. Huh? Oh yeah, just in case anyone missed. Um, I don't. When did I last use this? When did I last use the like first start using the model again? I think it was probably Saturday. So just in case anyone's curious. Um, I'll probably start using this more often. I did use it, I think, in my recording as well for the latest video on Friday. Um, the reason why I wasn't using it as often is because, one, uh, the camera that I use is technically also my iPhone. So I, um, it would be, like, damn near dead by the time I would get off work. So that probably could still be something that doesn't make me use it every single stream. But uh, that was one of the reasons. And the other reason is because I used so much CPU usage at the time to put it on OBS. Get off the horses, people. You're killing me. Uh, so, VTube Studio def uh, gave an update to where using the model shouldn't be taxing at all anymore or use any more CPU usage when you put it on OBS. It was a weird add-on that they put on it, so I'll hopefully be able to use it more often since it doesn't... I can hear my PC just, like, not, like, trying to work as hard anymore on it, which is really rad. So I'll hopefully be able to use this more often now. That was one of the reasons I just didn't use it as much. Especially when I did PC games, so I'll test it out with a PC game sometime in the future. Oh shoot, the guys are still going. Why did I grab that? Did I actually put my health up a little bit? Oh no, that was for the... Oh, actually it dropped it. Oh, that was bizarre. Okay. We... Oh, that was a weird camera angle. Okay. Can these break? Oh, I thought they could break for some reason. There's guys right to my foot. And just get away, though. Why is he more tankier than Zheng Mo Or less tankier than Zheng... He's the commander. He's got the warrior spirit on him. I don't understand. I don't understand. Here's the super move. Super move! Can, can be cruel. All right. Easy. Easy clappage. Easy clap. Very amazing. That was fun. That was fun reliving this game. But uh, like I mentioned, I'm probably not going to do a poll for the next time we do a Warriors stream. Uh, instead, what I'll do, I'll probably play Warriors Odyssey 2 and just do a couple things that I like missed in that game. Again, I think there's still some treasures I need to get in that game. Uh, just grinding out some characters probably as well. Um, or just, you know, just casually playing it just for the hell of it, just to relive the game as a whole. But... Uh, yeah, I'll probably I'll probably do a Warriors Odyssey 2 stream next, just to at least maybe maybe a one-off type stream, just do a little bit of grinding on the game and uh, all that stuff. So I'll probably do that, see what dream mode stages I can unlock and everything. And uh, oh my neck! And yeah, just try to get some of the treasures that I miss, and maybe some better weapons if we play on a harder difficulty. We'll see. Yeah, everybody, I think that's going to be where we wrap up the stream for the day. Just want to say really quick, thank you all very much for tuning into today's stream. Whether you were chatting in the chat, lurking, all that stuff, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming WWE 2K23. The game's coming out tomorrow, so after work, I'm going to be streaming that. Probably around probably 6 or something tomorrow. Um, we'll see how at 6 p.m., I mean. And uh, I got a video for Wednesday. 
I got a stream on Thursday, which is going to be Dragon Ball Z Budokai uh, 2. I'm going to be playing the story for that game. On Friday, of course, we're going to be getting more Warriors content on the Warriors wheel. I'm going to be playing Warriors Odachi 1 and play with uh, a team of three fathers. I forgot who they were again, but oh well. Um, oh, excuse me. And then, of course, Friday and, or Saturday and Sunday will be free stream days. So there you go. There's the schedule for the week. Again, thank you all very much for tuning in. Again, whether you're chatting to chat, lurking, smash the like button, all this stuff, greatly appreciate it. If you are someone's watching this later and you enjoyed it, and by all means, hit that like button. Let's know if you guys want to see some more of these old Warriors games. And if you're new to the channel, it's constantly you see, hit that sub button. We are trying to hit 5K on the channel. With that being said, chat, lurks, those of you watching later, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and or evening. I'll see you all in the next one. Farewell.